Hey friends, it's Shane from HunterWrench.com. Uh, doing set carbs today and want to make a really quick video. I was actually training one of uh, our fans uh, privately on some one-on-one -on, -one on fuel systems and I kept talking about this tool that I eventually started using on carburetors to pull the O-ring out of the pilot mixture screws and I couldn't believe that I went through video after video after video and it showed, in all the videos I had on there, it showed the old way that I did it. So stay tuned, let's get close. I'm gonna show you how I do this and get that O-ring out of there a heck of a lot faster. And I'll give you a couple part numbers for some uh, quick and easy replacement options too if yours happens to be uh, damaged. So come on in. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're gonna be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right, the first thing I want to recommend when removing these screw assemblies is that you've got to make sure and thread it in first and count the number of turns. So I will do something like this. You can see it actually poking out the bottom here. I will go half, watching the flat part of the screwdriver. One, half, two, half, three, and these were set at three turns. Notice at three turns, how much is protruding out of that hole there. So it's going to be different for different carburetors, but just be mindful of that. Then I'll go ahead and uh, just simply take the screw out. See what we're messing with. And you don't want to tighten that in really, really tight because you could break off that small point. When it's a fuel screw, it's usually got a really fine point on the end of it. If this is all tapered to just from gradual to a point, it's more likely on the air side. Watch other uh, videos in our fuel systems playlist to get some deeper understanding of that. So back to this guy, we got the screw out and there's some components we're always going to find. We're always going to find a spring, okay, and then we're going to have uh, a flat washer and then we're going to have an o-ring and it's always in that order because what happens is the flat washer is actually protecting the spring from popping through that o-ring and ruining it so if you can see I here I keep these you know 50 packs of these around because of how often they're missing so traditionally what you've seen in all my videos is I went in with a, an angled pick like this a lot of you all will have that four piece pick set I'll put a link in the video below, but you'll uh, you'll have one of these tools, and I would show to go in here and kind of go at an angle, and you'd have to walk it around and basically scoop it and pull it out, and it did work. I did that for a lot of years, but I got introduced to this uh, idea uh, from actually a student that went out as on-the-job training and came back and said, hey, this is the way we did it, and I thought it was such a great idea. I wanted to go ahead and, and showcase that. So as you can see, it's just your everyday large paper clip where they bent a little end on it. Watch how fast and easy I can get that washer and O-ring out. Boom. Got it out in one shot, I was able to get both of them. Let me show you real quick that assembly. All right, as you can see, we have the screw, the spring, you have the metal washer and then the o-ring and you can see that as this sat in that tapered seat for a long time it actually has you know a crowned edge on it so if you were to reuse them you would not want to flip that upside down and that's another good reason just to put new ones in all right friends there you have it there's another little tip from howtowrench.com on some really cool usage of tools to make the uh, job easier also check out our new website toolsrench.com where we'll have all kinds of links and product reviews if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share to your friends, help make the content better, make it a great day, and as always, keep wrenching.